Okay, so in this video we're going to look at multiplying and dividing decimals by 10, 100 or 1000. And really this is the real benefit of the decimal system, that in order to multiply by factors of 10 or 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, we simply move the decimal point accordingly. What I mean by that is let's say we have 1... 0.2 and we're going to multiply that by 10. Well in order to do that we simply move the decimal point one place towards the right. So the answer would be then 12. Okay so let's say we had 1.7 multiplied by 100. Well the only thing we need to remember is that we're making two jumps and therefore we need to just put a placeholder, a zero, in place in order to make sure that we can perform the calculation. And then we move the decimal point by two jumps because there's two zeros after the 100. So one jump and two jumps. So the answer to 1.7 multiplied by 100 would be 170. So let's say we're multiplying by 1,000. It's exactly the same principle. So we've got 2, 2.579, and we're multiplying by 1,000. So we're going to move the decimal point by three places. 1, 2, 3, which would be there. So the answer to that would be 2,257. 9, or if you prefer, 22,579. Now these are all multiplication, and with multiplication we move the decimal point towards the right. However, with division we move the decimal point towards the left. So let's look at the same numbers again. We've got 1.2 divided by 10. We would move the decimal point over here. So it would become 0.12. 170, 1.70 uh, divided by 10. So again, we move over towards the left there. So that would become 0.17. And then the bigger number at the end, we're going to have uh, 22579 divided by 1000 so I'm going to move three decimal places now just looking at it there I'm going to need a zero so I'm actually going to put it in there so a zero placeholder and then I'm going to move my decimal point one two three so it would be 0 0.02257 9 would be then my answer. So the only thing to remember is that if you can see that the decimal point, by moving the decimal point, you're going to need some sort of placeholder, then we use a zero in there to be able to make the final jump. And that's how to multiply and divide by factors of 10 or 10, 10,000, uh, 100,000, just by moving the decimal place by counting the number of places and going either left for division or right for multiplication.